Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to Algebra 2. Our topic today is vector operations, and we're going to look at how to use vector addition and subtraction to express results in terms of vectors that were given in our problem. And to introduce the concept, let's look at what it means to represent a vector in terms of a vector. Let's consider vector OR and vector RO. And we have three vectors that we're working with, R, S, and T. Vector OR is from O to R, as is diagrammed, thus this is the same as or equals vector r. Vector r is going in the direction of r, from o to r. Now if we were to set up a vector r o, the direction would be the opposite of small r. Going from r to o would put the head of the vector at the o end as opposed to where it is at the r end. So we would be looking at a reversal or a negative small r. So we're expressing vector OR in terms of r, OR equals r, and we're expressing RO in terms of r, RO equals negative r. Now in these two examples we see something that we already are familiar with, which is there is more than one option for naming a vector. Now let's apply this concept to vector addition and subtraction. Let's evaluate first vector RS and vector ST. And again we want to show these vectors which will be the results of vector addition and subtraction in terms of small letter RS and T. So looking at RS starting at R and creating a vector leading to S. Starting at R, we would go down to O, and then from O, we would go up to S. So this math would be the addition vector RO plus vector OS. Now let's identify these vectors in terms of small letter R, S, and T. Notice in our diagram we don't have vector RO. We do have vector OR, so we will change the addition of vector RO to subtraction of the opposite vector OR plus vector OS. Now looking at the small letters R and S in relation to these two vectors. OR is the same as small letter R. So in subtracting vector OR, that's the same as subtracting small letter R. And OS is the same as small letter S minus small letter R plus small letter S, which we can rearrange to simplify as small letter S minus small letter R. And this is vector RS in terms of vectors small letter R and small letter S. Let's go on to example 2. Vector st is a vector starting at s and ending at t. And the process to get there is beginning at s, going to o, and from o, going to t. So it's the addition of vector so and vector ot. And again, looking at our diagram, we don't have vector SO, we do have vector OS. So let's show this as a subtraction of the opposite direction, minus OS. We do have OT diagram, so we'll add OT. And now looking at terms of small r, small s, small t, negative OS is the same as minus s, because small letter s is equivalent to vector os. And ot is equivalent to small letter t, minus s plus t. Put our positive term in front, t minus s. 
is vector st in terms of the vectors small letter t and small letter s. Let's now look at another example. Here we have vectors a, b, and b, c with points m and n. Point m is the midpoint of a, b represented in the given ratio and point n creates the ratio of bn to cn equals 1 to 2. Thus the length bn is one half the length cn. And here we want to define our requested vectors in terms of small letter p and small letter q. And we want to identify vector mc and then vector mn. Starting with MC, MC is moving from M to B, and then from B to C, which is MB plus BC. And now looking at these vectors in terms of small letter P and small letter Q, MB is one half of P. Noting that M is the midpoint of A and B, if AB is equivalent to small letter P, then half of that vector, vector MB, is equivalent to one half P. And BC is equivalent to Q. Thus, in terms of small letter P and small letter Q, the vector MC is represented as one-half P plus Q. Now let's evaluate MN, a vector from M to N, which will, starting at M, go to B, and then from B, go to N. So we will add vector MB with vector BN. And in terms of small letter P and small letter Q, we saw in example 1, MB is 1 half P. Adding BN, which is a portion of BC. Now how much of BC? Looking at the ratio BN to CN is 1 to 2. If we consider BC a vector divided into three equal parts, one part is BN and two parts are CN. In other words, one-third of Q is represented by the vector BN. In terms of small letter P and small letter Q, vector MN is represented as one-half P plus one-third Q. And now we've seen a number of examples of how to describe vector operations in terms of two coplanar vectors. This concludes our lesson. More videos on vectors are on the way, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.